Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the season opener of the Miami Heat Mod GM series. We going up against the Hornets. Yo, I've never really played the Hornets before, but yo, we got our team set, ready to go. We got Goran Dragic as our point guard. D Wade, aka the Flash, as shooting guard. I decided to go with Gerald Green at the small forward position. We got Chris Bosch at power forward. We got Hassan Whiteside at our center. And of course, we got our bench unit. Dwayne Wade, though, right off the bat, the man hit that mid-range game. I'm expecting big things from him this season, guys. We are going to be utilizing Dwayne Wade. He is not a second or third option. He is clearly our number one option on this team. And, of course, we're going to run that pick and roll game with Chris Bosh. That's going to be their all season long, guys. That's going to be a go-to, man. That's going to be a go-to because you all know that Chris Bosh definitely been working on his uh, shooting game over the past few seasons. Can hit that three ball, uh, mid-range, and all that stuff. So, Dwayne Wade going off and throwing it down. That's the flash. He's back. He's back, guys. I promise you. I promise you the flash is back. Okay? So, here we go. That, that, I'm telling you guys, too easy, man. Chris Bosh, you cannot leave him on that trailer, okay? That's how we run it, man. Like, y'all uh, have everybody else go ahead of him, and we have Chris Bosh lag back a little bit, and he just comes back, and no look at Gerald Green throwing it down. And, yo, Gerald Green, uh, I expect big things from him this season, guys. He was very uh, very good on the Phoenix Suns, and he really has not found a home yet in the NBA. It seems like he's on a new team every single season, but, man, he throws it down like that. He can stay on the team every day. Amari Stoudemire going to that basket with some speed, like, you know, like back in the day. And uh, this team definitely, uh, I'm definitely liking this team so far. I know it's our first game. Uh, damn, we got to hit that crossover, though. <laughs> we got to hit that crossover hard, man. Uh, but I'm definitely liking this team out here. And uh, I, don't, I don't see us making a ton of uh, moves to the starting lineup this season. Oh, uh, damn, look at that defense, though. Y'all, y'all, y'all got the dark side, the white, the ice of the white side, the light side. <laughs> we got the Hassan side out here, man. That's a little Star Wars for all you guys out there who's uh, pumped for the Star Wars movie coming out soon. Here we go. Hit him with that Hassan side. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about, man. Dragic is, uh, like I said, we still have to find a way to fit him into our offense because we got so many options out there. Um, but the fact of the matter is that the dude is going to knock down shots when he's wide open, okay? Like, in the end of the day, that's what he's going to do. Dwayne Wade get into that basket. And, of course, Rob can run that offense, too. So, that's kind of nice thing. Oh, my God. Like, we can't kill Bob Kemba, guys. He's, he killed me out here. He embarrassed me on my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, D. Wade, Drogic, you know, a lot of good things going to go on between those two guys. Hassan White, Whiteside. Hassan, is that his name? Hassan Whiteside. Yeah, okay. So, I, I, said, it was, I said it right. Okay, Hassan Whiteside. We all good. <laughs> I'm so, I'm uh, messing up his name. Dwayne Wade for three. But, yo, that's what I like about Dragic, that point guard position, is that Dwayne Wade can find the spots, use his speed, use his athleticism, which isn't as good as it used to be. Uh, ooh, damn, boy. Ooh, I'll, I'll take it back. He heard me. He heard me. He was like, Crispy, what you talking about? My athleticism not the same. I just crossed up three people. All right, Justice getting the steal right here. And I'll be quite honest, I'm not showing a ton of uh, Justice wins, though, because he is struggling for me this game, guys. Um, he's did he make a lot of rookie mistakes out there, but if he, when he makes defensive plays like that, it uh, makes up for the rookie mistakes. So, he's a guy that, like I said, a lot of you guys want to see him in that starting lineup. As far as I see it, man, he got to earn his spot out there. Look at that block by Hassan Weiss that we run it all the way, all the way. Let's throw it up, throw it up. Gerald Green throwing it down. When I got Gerald Green playing like this, uh, it really makes a hard case for me to put Justice into the starting lineup. But, guys, he's like, what, 19 years old? He's got time, my friends. You do not want to rush his career. Because this is the issue. You rush a guy into his career when he's still a raw talent, they're going to get very uh, discouraged quickly. Their morale is going to go down. Their attributes are not going to go up. So what we're going to do is we are going to ease him into the into the league. He's going to get minutes every game. He's going to be like our 6th, 7th man off the bench. Uh, he will probably start eventually for our team, but just not right away. You know, it's not why he's not throwing it down. Here we go. So, uh, you know, I just I want to keep the, you know, I want to really work on his game. Uh, during uh, you know, off days, practice with him and get his attributes up and just work on it from that. You know, no no rush. Don't need to, uh, you know, kill the guy's confidence so early in his career. So like I said, he's playing defense like that right there. He's playing defense like that. He's going to do a lot of good things for our bench units. All right, Morrow missing. Here we go. Kick it out. Here we go. Oh, we got you. We got you. Shoot that three. Shoot that three. He's swagging off. Knock it down, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Justice Winslow. Actually got 79-3, guys. So, uh, mid-range is only a 62. That's not great. Um, but a lot of people were also saying he's a good one-on-one -on -one player. So, we got to utilize him in that aspect. Chris Bosh throwing it down. What you doing, Zeller? Get down, boy. Come on, that's Chris Bosh. That's a $121 million player right there. Well, on paper, he's a $121 million paper. Realistically, I don't know if I can give that much money myself. But, hey, <laughs> you can do what you got to do to win, I guess. All right, and that's what I love to see from Dwayne Wade. 
We all know he's getting up there in age. A uh, big thing about uh, Dwayne Wade's game is that his whole career, he was a big uh, crash to the basket, get contact, knock down, crazy layup type of player. As you get older, you can't do that anymore because you're going to get injured. So a big reason for Allen Iverson actually, uh, look at that throw down, Wade's playing amazing, guys. So Allen Iverson, for example, is a good example of that, um, of a player that couldn't really adapt his game once he got older, and it was based off a lot of athleticism. So, uh, you know, he had issues, and he didn't really make it far into the league. Where you got your Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordans who have a good post game and they're allowed to use their bigger, older aged bodies, I guess, for lack of a better term, to uh, post up younger guards and just use their basketball knowledge to get to the basket. So that's something I definitely work on with uh, Dwayne Wade. Although he's playing like he's playing right now, man, he's playing like the old Dwayne Wade, so it's all good. And, uh, yeah, I haven't really been talking about the gameplay too much. Justice Winslow knocked down another three pointer for us. Um, it's pretty much a blowout, though, guys. We won this game 87 73. Uh, with good fashion out there, we had good balance scoring all around. Dwayne Wade played great. Justice Winslow played some solid defense for us out there. Chris Bosch did his, did his thing. Uh, let's go ahead in a second here and check out these player stats. Really see what it's all about right here. Next episode, we're going to go over a few things, make a few tweaks and changes. Nothing too crazy, though. But, yo, uh, let's check out these game stats. Dwayne Wade, 21 points, 10 assists. Balling out there. Gerald Green shot 8 for 9, so that's huge for us. Justice Winslow did not shoot all that well, but played some great defense. Hope you guys are all enjoying this series, though. Peace out, my friends.